My name is Georgina Dickeny and I'm the executive director here at Yemneska Wolf Dog Sanctuary. We are launching our Home to Rome campaign because just this year alone, in the last few months, we've actually rescued 22 wolf dogs. It all started earlier this year in uh, the new year where we had a breeder reach out to us that was shutting down and he asked us if we would be able to take in the wolf dogs that he still had on site. And um, while we were conducting that rescue, we actually were contacted by an owner who had purchased one of the animals from um, the Warmland Wolf Kennel. And um, she had asked us if we could actually take him as well. And uh, so we ended up going out to Vancouver Island and we ended up doing two trips because in all we rescued 15 wolf dogs. And then in May of this year, we actually also ended up taking in six low content wolf dog puppies that were an accidental litter. And so the person that had the litter had reached out to us just because they recognized that they would not be able to do what it really takes to find suitable homes for those animals. And uh, so that's kind of how we ended up with um, kind of this big influx of wolf dogs. And then last but not least, we got one more wolf dog, another one from Vancouver Island that ended up being abandoned at a construction site and ended up at animal control. And um, so that is how the 22nd wolf dog arrived here. And uh, I know for us here at the sanctuary, one of the really challenging things is whenever new rescues come in, just finding placement for those because we are usually always running at capacity here. And uh, so when we're dealing with one of these kind of bigger rescues where there's a high volume of animals coming in, it's always a challenge for us to end up just finding proper placement for those animals. So just with this year bringing in 22 new wolf dogs, that has been a very unique challenge to try to essentially um, build enough infrastructure, enough enclosures to house these animals here. And so this is one of the reasons why we need your help with our Home to Roam campaign. So one of the things that we really need to tackle now is to build the permanent enclosures for these wolf dogs so that we can give them the large spacious homes that the sanctuary is known for. Um, as the only wolf dog sanctuary in all of Canada, it's really up to us to be able to provide these rescued wolf dogs with a wonderful home. And so now we are kind of taking on the big task of having to build six new wolf dog enclosures. Um, each enclosure ends up being about half acre to two acres, anywhere in that range. And we make sure that the um, enclosures are completely secure, meaning that they are eight feet tall, have overhangs, dig guards, double gated entries, they need vehicle gates. Um, we also create lockdown partitions in those enclosures. And then in addition, we need all the enrichment items in the enclosures as well. So it is definitely a big undertaking that requires quite a bit of work and um, that's kind of the challenge that we face right now. So some of the ways that you can help us with this project is through donating, whether it's monetary or even supplies, and then just sharing our campaign. We do need to raise $400,000 in order to build all of these enclosures and so we could really use all the help that is out there. And so whether it's a small donation, a large donation, any bit helps us. Through supporting our Home to Rome campaign, you're able to help us do what we do best here at the sanctuary, which is not only rescuing wolf dogs, but also giving them a permanent home that truly meets all the needs in order to ensure that these animals live enriching lives. And so we really appreciate all the support we have gotten so far. And that is truly the thing that allows us to do what we do here at the sanctuary. And when I think back, I moved the sanctuary to this location here 10 years ago, and I moved here with five wolf dogs. 10 years later today, we have 60 wolf dogs and it has been quite a journey, quite a roller coaster, but it just means a lot to me and all the wolf dogs here, all the staff here, that we have the support of our community in order to really do right by these animals.